Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles of Caging and today we are selling our hatchling rack for ball pythons. So let's get started. Hey guys, so it's going to be kind of a short and sweet video. Uh, we're selling a couple of things, making room for new things. This is only really going to apply to people who are local. Uh, we're in North Tonawanda, which is really close to Buffalo, New York. It's kind of between Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Uh, so if you don't live around here, I hope you still watch the video. But for selling purposes, everything is going to be pickup only, and there's only going to be two exceptions. So as you can see behind me, this is one of our hatchling racks. This holds 72 bins, and we are getting a new rack that actually holds 130. So not only are we selling this rack, but we're also selling this one over here. This one holds 36 bins. So what we are going to do is, first I'll talk about this big one. Um, this big one is the one we definitely need out of here within the next couple of weeks because between one and three weeks, the new rack will be arriving. Uh, this is a very heavy rack. If I pull this out, you can see that the back is almost full. There's only a little slot there and a little slot there, so it's very heavy. It actually took me and two other people to bring it down. We're in the basement of a house, but it's an easy shot right up the stairs and right outside. So, if anyone is interested in this rack, um, it, this holds six quart Sterlite bins, which looks like this. And... I'm going to try to salvage my hides to use for the new larger rack, but all my water dishes are going to be too large. So we are going to include all of the bins. We're going to include our Helix DBS 1000. Um, each of the levels has heat tape and one plug works for three levels. That way if you only have one or two clutches of ball pythons at a time or you've sold mo most of them and you don't need the whole thing running, you can just plug them in. We have two different power strips. That way you can also break it down that way and you can just plug in the you can just plug in the heat tape that you actually want to use and run. But whoever gets it is going to get all the bins, all of the bowls and the thermostat. If anyone is interested in both of them, the reason why we arranged them like this and we have such a big strong thermostat up there is because not only is it strong enough to run this whole rack, that same thermostat is strong enough to run that rack as well. Pretty much the same thing as the other one, this is just split in half. I'll give you guys measurements and stuff like that for anyone who is seriously interested. Uh, this again runs three levels per plug for heat tape. This one's actually new. We never happened to actually use it because we had it as a backup for overflow for this one. We do have about 60 babies on here, but a lot of them are going to be leaving here in the next week or two. And we can save them elsewhere if somebody's ready for this a lot sooner than let's say one to three weeks. As you can see, they're like this one, it's actually never been used. That's why the, the uh, plug cover is still on it. A lot of this hasn't been used because we haven't needed it. Like I've never gotten past where we are right now. Um, this is four years old. This is our first model of ever building hatchling racks because you guys have seen These are all different things that we have built uh, this actually I'll try to find the picture of the day I built it I thought it'd be a great to have a nice solid back, but it did make it quite a bit heavier Everything is made out of half inch PVC. It's actually 13 millimeters So a little bit larger than half inch and everything is in working order stuff like that this one will also come with all bins and water bowls included. For these ball pythons, what I do is I have paper towel at the bottom. We've got the water dish that has a lip, which allows for a little hide on this side. And I personally put hides in as well. You can actually see this is one of our tags. These are actually just ID tags. We like to do that just so we can tell who's who and keep everything a little bit better organized. We have posted it on both of our Twisted Reptiles and our Obscure Reptile and Caging Facebook page. If you guys are interested at all, shoot us a message on either of our Facebook pages. Now the two exceptions that I was telling you about, these are gonna be pickup only unless somebody wants to pay in full for one or both of these to be taken to either the Finger Lakes Reptile Show, which we will be vending next month, or the end of October is Rexpo, and we will be vending that as well in Rochester. So if somebody wanted to pay for them and we could to move them out of here, we can store them until the show and bring them to you at the show. The only thing is that one has to be paid in full 
and if you don't come to pick it up there will be no refunds because we're going to be holding these then for a couple of months I'm going to have to rent a van or a truck or something to get them to the show and if for some reason you guys don't pick up I'm going to have to rent something else to get it back as well so those are my two extra conditions since the small one technically could stay where it is or we could find a space for it we're not really in too much for that smaller one but this big one we're definitely going to be a little bit more lenient when it comes to pricing and working with people because we really need that space in the next couple of weeks but that's it for this video guys if you have any questions put them in the comments below or if you're interested in either of these make sure you message us on our twisted reptiles or obscure reptiles and caging facebook page if you haven't already please subscribe we do a few videos every single week so i'll see you guys in the next video